In this video, I want to talk about how to discuss a book. Now, you can discuss a book in an essay, in a paper, or just in a conversation. So this will work in any of those uh, scenarios. Now, the easiest way is to use the power of three, and you know I constantly talk about it, but another way is also the power of dualities. And I'm gonna post links to videos about both, the power of three, power of dualities, and how to form your argument using these techniques. Now, we must ask ourselves, what are the elements of any book? Now, again, I keep hammering this. I'm all about dividing, dividing, and dividing into sections and subsections, and how do you do it? Well, you identify the elements of whatever it is that you're discussing. So, what are the elements of any book? Well, here are the elements present in any book. We're talking about story, plot, characters, themes, metaphors, symbols, takeaways, meaning the main message, mythology, the setting. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about each of these. Of course, there are more, but there are definitely many others. There are many other ways to discuss a book, meaning there are many other elements to any book. There are many other literary devices and so on, but these nine will carry your conversation very, very well, whether it's verbally or on paper. So what I would like to do is to give you two to three examples of how to combine these elements and to discuss some in terms of the others. Okay, so let's take a look at one of maybe the most important element, which is the takeaway or takeaways, which is the main message that the author of the book is trying to convey. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take some of the other elements and help us deliver our argument. So let's say, for example, we could use characters to discuss the takeaway or the takeaways or just one main message, it doesn't matter. We could use characters and this section would deal with the question, how do the characters help deliver the message, right? Because the takeaway is really the message and that's exactly the question that we'll be answering in that section. Next, we could talk about symbols. There's symbolism in virtually any literature. In all literature, in all books, there's some sort of symbolism, if it's fiction. So how do the symbols help deliver the message? This is the question that we're gonna be answering in this section. Next section, metaphors, same thing. We're gonna answer the question, how do the metaphors help deliver the message? Hope this makes sense. So as you can see, we're using four different elements that could be found in any book. It's a book of fiction, there's definitely gonna be characters, there's gonna be symbols and metaphors. Okay, next. Let's say we wanna talk about the mythology. Now it doesn't have to be a myth, mythology, mythological elements, and I'm referring to Joseph Campbell's work, mythology, mythological elements can be found in any story, because according to Joseph Campbell, we're pretty much living out the human myth, and a story of any human being is, to some degree, a myth. It's a mythological representation of that particular event in his or her life or whatever. So, characters. Again, we're gonna talk about characters. So, which mythological types are present in this book? It could be a mentor, or it could be a villain, and so on and so on. But there are mythological types or archetypes. Next, symbols again. So, which mythological symbols are present? For example, let's say in Beauty and the Beast, it's very important, the symbol of the flower. The flower symbol is very important. It's a symbol of many things. It's a red rose, it's a symbol of kind of virginity, it's a symbol of marriage, it's a symbol of love, and it's a symbol of life. But you can talk about uh, many different interpretations of that symbol, but symbols are very important. Takeaways, and you see, now we're talking about takeaways as just a section. So this will answer the question, what major takeaways can be derived from the mythological aspect of this book? This may sound a little bit complicated, but it all depends on what kind of a paper you really want to write. I'm just giving you an example, so you could keep it simpler or you could keep it more complex. It's okay. You could discuss just one character and you could say, okay, what mythological archetype is this character and why? You could pick one character, for example, you could pick, let's say, Merlin from the Knights of the Round Table and discuss him in terms of who he really is. And he is the mentor archetype. He's the wise old man archetype. Symbols. So are there any symbols associated with this character? You know, the sword or something else? I don't know. But there are always symbols. Find one. It's actually interesting and it's fun to do. You just find a symbol and you try to think, hmm, what could it mean? 
you know, and story. So the question is, how does this character drive the story? Very interesting, and it's a very good question to ask. And then you provide the answer in that section. So you can write as much as you want if you stick to this kind of arrangement. So basically, here are your takeaways. So you can pick one of the elements of the novel, the story, the plot, one of the characters or several characters, a theme or literary device, such as a metaphor or a simile, and make it the subject. Meaning that's what the paper is going to be about or your conversation is going to be about it. You can use the power of three and pick three more elements in terms of which to discuss the subject. Just like I showed right now in a couple of examples. And remember, a book is not just a book. Because if you look at the book and all you see is this book, then it's just one big thing. And of course it's hard to discuss because it's just one big blob, one big huge thing. However, a book is not just a book. A book contains all of these elements. It contains the plot, the story, the characters, the themes, the metaphors, the symbols, takeaways, mythology, the setting, and many, many others. But these are certainly enough for you to create a very, very interesting and powerful conversation about this book. You can talk about this book. You can even pick just one, just one element and talk about it in terms of any others. Pick three others. Okay, hope this is helpful. See you in the next video.